died when it is in the future tense, the day that I die, not died. He mistranslated. If, if, if that was deliberate, it's devilish. If it is an ignorance, inexcusable. Then again, at the second debate, he goes on to tell his audience in the Royal Albert Hall that the Trinity is in the Quran 113 times. And he quotes, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We see the Trinity 113 times in the Quran, like the Bible says, Bismillah wal ibn wa ruh al-Qudus. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Trinity, he says that's the Trinity. As an Arab, inexcusable if he's deliberately doing it is devilish look his knowledge of arabic poor very poor <laughs> no it's the same sickness is coming again and again where which one 15 minutes which one you're going to catch now he lied in the previous meeting he said and i quoted if you remember while I was quoting, I said, you quoted, this is what you said, he says, Let me challenge you, 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. He says, let me challenge you, me or the audience, or all, let me challenge you, 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful Arabic is from the Bible. You remember that? And he said, he said, he can show it to you now. I said, no, have your patience. He had 75 minutes. He didn't show one example. One example. <laughs> Seventy-five percent of this book is copied in that. And he could not show us one example. You see, you, you know what is to copy, what is to crib, what is to plagiarize stealing somebody else's literature. Look, the Christians and the Jews have been at it. They have been at it. They have written books. Here, Judaism in the Quran by Abraham Katch. Few hundred pages. Then the sources of Islam, the sources of the Quran by Reverend Saint Claire Tinsdale. Books, books. They have written more than 60,000 books against Islam from 1800 to 1950. More than 60,000 books they have been written so far. See, they behave like innocent little children, little babes, like cherubims, but not cherubims. They have written more than 60,000. Among them, here, Judaism in the Quran. Here, the sources of Islam, sources of the Quran. Reverend Saint Claire Tinsdale. Reverend and Saint, he wrote the book. <laughs> and he is giving verses, verses, verses. That one they are giving verses, verses, verses. But this was originally written in Farsi, Persian, in the Persian language. So, Reverend Sir William Moyer, he translates this into English. And he writes a preface. He writes a preface to his translation. And he says, It is strange. It is strange. It's odd. It's unusual. It's extraordinary. He says, It is strange that though the Jewish and Christian scriptures are spoken of throughout the Quran with the utmost devotion. Quran speaks about the Jewish and Christian scriptures, the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, with utmost devotion. Only one passage, only one passage is quoted from them. That's all. Only one. Though the Quran is speaking about it, 75% is copied, says Dr. Shirosh, 75, three quarter is copied from the Bible. Yet this great man, Sir William Moore, a scholar, he says, only one passage is quoted from them, namely, and he quotes, namely, and he quotes, the meek shall inherit the earth. One quotation. 
Now, look for it. There isn't such a verse in the Quran. The nearest is, وَلَكَتْ سَرَّفْنَا وَلَكَتْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الذَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْضِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا يِبَادِ الصَّالِحُونَ Said that we had given to Dawood in the Sabur this message that to my righteous servant, my righteous servants will inherit the earth. That is what the Quran says. But this quotation, the meek shall inherit the earth, you find that in Matthew chapter 5 verse 5, where Jesus says, the meek shall inherit the earth. Now you see that in the Bible that our doctor has given me, there are cross references and it tells you that this quotation is from Psalms chapter 37 verse 11. That quotation is from Psalms, Jesus says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. But when you look for it, you find it in Psalms chapter 37, verse 11. Word for word. But Jesus didn't give the credit to David. He said, look, I got this from the Psalms. Muhammad is made to say that this is written. He's actually quoting. This is written. He's giving due credit in the Zabur. It is there. And you find that this is what the Quran says. Jesus Christ is actually plagiarizing. If he didn't mention it, if he didn't give credit, he is plagiarizing. He is stealing from somebody else's writing, not Muhammad. So, still, still, you see, look, what is to copy? What is to crib? You must show to us, I have the Arabic Bible here, in case he hasn't got it, and got the Arabic Quran here. What he must show here, that in the Arabic Bible, Jesus says, I am the father of one. He said, look in the Quran, Muhammad says, I am the father of one. In the Bible, Jesus says, that he that has seen me has seen the father. And you see, Muhammad also says, for example, that he that has seen me has seen the father. This is what is called copying. This is what is called cribbing. This is what is called plagiarism. So far, in the 75 long minutes, unbearably long minutes, he has not yet given us a single <laughs> phrase or word passage that Muhammad is copying from his 75 percent in the Bible. The Arabic Bible is here, sir, easy for you, and the Arabic Quran is also here, make it easy for you. Thank you, Mr. Dida. to have been a little confusion, Dr. Anis Sharosh was of the opinion that he would be accorded additional time for his rebuttal. Uh, he appears to have been laboring under the mistaken belief that the time allocated and in fact utilized by him initially, the 90 minutes, did not include the 15 minutes for the rebuttal. In view of this, uh, both uh, the sides have agreed that he will be now allocated 15 minutes for his rebuttal. After which, please, ladies and gentlemen, please, let me complete. After which, Mr. Ahmad Didat will be given another 15 minutes to continue his rebuttal. Please bear in mind that this meeting has to be con conducted fairly, and that means you're participating in a fair manner as well. Please let both speakers express their views and opinions. You could raise objections after they have spoken, not while they are speaking. Dr. Anis Sharosh for 15 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I am sorry to say that I understood I was coming for a rebuttal.